What's going on guys? Today we have a new CPU cooler from CryoRig. It is their H5 Ultimate. So let's go ahead and take a look. One thing I really love about CryoRig is their packaging and their overall marketing in general is just awesome. Um, so the H5 Ultimate comes in this really nice retail package with a ton of information on it. So on the front, uh, of course, it lets us know that it is the H5 Ultimate. It kind of has a picture of the unit. We'll go over to the back. And the back actually gives you your full specifications as far as size and everything like that. So if you do have size restrictions inside your case, you will uh, be able to see if this will actually fit. And um, it lists all of the compatibility. So all of these sockets and everything are listed there as well. So again, if you are using maybe some type of weird socket, you can actually see everything. So again, if you are to store a ton of information and then on this side, it goes over all of the technologies and features here. Um, so extreme efficiency, fine tuning, cooling capacity. So this talks about their high fin cooling uh, design. Balanced noise to performance, keeping your system cool and quiet. Um, talks about the fan and then five step easy installation. Um, so the installation should be pretty easy on this as well. Getting everything out of the box, we of course have the H5 Ultimate CPU cooler itself. We have our installation guide, which is extremely detailed. The very long screwdriver that you will need for installation. All of your mounting hardware and back plates for both AMD and Intel. You have an extra set of fan clips. If you do want to install a second fan, you have the ability to. And then you have your thermal paste, which is CryoRig's own CP9 thermal paste. Taking a closer look at the cooler here, this is actually a pretty large cooler. If we take a look from the side here, um, you can see it is a very thick cooler. This is a single tower cooler. So again, a single large heat sink here. And on the front, we do have that large 140 millimeter fan. And this is a pretty thick fan as well. This is the ultimate version. So last year we took a look at the universal version, which had a smaller or thinner fan. This is a very thick fan. So this is gonna give you pretty much the ultimate performance, hence the name, the H5 Ultimate. On the top, we do have a little cryo rig logo. So if you do have that window in your case, it's actually gonna go ahead and show out. And you can just see how thick this tower is, a very thick tower cooler. So again, a lot of room to dissipate all of that heat. And we can take a closer look at the back here so you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. Really, really uh, dense fin stack here. And then if we go to the bottom here, you can see our heat pipes. And we have one, two, three, and four. And these are, of course, copper heat pipes, nickel-plated copper heat pipes here that are, that are gonna go through the base of the cooler, go up in a sort of U fashion up into the heat sink stack. So if you're not familiar with CPU coolers, the way this is actually gonna work is, of course, your CPU is gonna generate heat down here. That heat is going to be transferred from the heat pipes up into the fin stack. It's gonna be dissipated in there. And then your fan, of course, is gonna blow all of that heat out of your system here. So now I'm gonna take the protective cover here off of the base so we can take a look at it. It's actually on there pretty good. Um, looking at the base here, it looks pretty nice. I, I know our video is probably not doing it that much of justice. Um, but again, if you want a very clean and nice base, so it makes perfect contact with your CPU, I'm gonna put that back on there, um, with your CPU, so you know you have the best heat transfer possible. So this is a very, very large heat sink here. Um, one thing I did wanna to mention too that I, sometimes we don't see is that the actual uh, fan connector is sleeved, um, nicely sleeved actually, very, very nicely sleeved here. So sometimes companies don't do that, but you do have that. And what's great about this cooler too is that if you have run, run into some type of clearance issue on uh, the front here with your fan, you can actually mount the fan to the backside or add a second fan if you want. Installation of the H5 Ultimate should be pretty easy. Now, CryoRig does a really good job of making it easy to install their larger CPU cooler. So we're gonna be installing on an Intel system. So you wanna go ahead and grab that Intel backplate. And the backplate actually has the pegs pre-installed. So they're actually pre-installed for 11.5X, so it's 1150, 1151 socket. Now, if you're doing something different, say 775 or 2011, you're gonna to have to move these pegs up or down. But of course, go to the manual 
and see where your pegs need to be for your specific socket. Now, once you have your pegs set up the way you want them, go ahead and install that back plate onto the back side of your motherboard. Of course, of course, pushing those pegs through to the other side. Now you're gonna get the bolts that um, allow you to secure this and go ahead and secure them on. You can easily twist them right on and you're good to go there. Then find the Intel mounting bars. And the Intel mounting bars, again, will need to be installed a specific way. The way that we're showing you here will have the CPU cooler push air through the heatsink and out of the back of your case. Now, if you wanna install them vertically, this will put the CPU cooler with the fan facing the bottom and pushing air out of the top of your case. Now, once you have your orientation figured out, you have the locking bolts on there and that will secure the two mounting bars. Now, very, very carefully install your um, thermal paste and then place the CPU cooler on top of your CPU. Again, very carefully. Now, once you've done that, there are two mounting screws on each side of the CPU cooler that you access by using the included very long screwdriver. This actually goes down through the heatsink and will allow you to fasten those screws to the openings here on the mounting bar. Now, once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You don't have to remove the fan to do this installation, which is pretty nice. Now, you can if you want to. Now, this is the H5 Ultimate that comes with the larger fan. So you might actually want to remove this fan to make installation easier, or if you have larger memory, you may have to move the fan up a little bit to have that access for your memory. We're gonna be doing our testing in our Z97 system. This system is made up of an Intel Core i7-4790K, ASUS Z97A motherboard, Zotec GeForce GTX 980 Ti amp, 16 gigabytes of Kingston's 10th anniversary memory, the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11 power supply, a 100 and 120 gigabyte Samsung 800, 840 Evo SSD, of course our H5 Ultimate for cooling, and it's all inside of the Cooler Master Master Case 5, which has two included fans. So we'll We'll start with our idle testing and idle testing is taken on the Windows desktop with one hour into just sitting on the desktop. So we leave our computer on and have it run for one hour just on the desktop to get our idle temperatures. And here you can see we have an idle temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, which is pretty fair and pretty good for this type of cooler. Now, of course, idle temperatures aren't that big of a deal because they're going to be pretty much the same across most coolers. Most coolers will give you that decent idle temperature. Now we'll move on from that to our load temperatures here and load temperatures are taken when we run prime 95 and we run prime 95 for one hour and we take our temperature reading at that one hour mark. So we're putting 100% load on the CPU for one hour and we give you that low temperature. And our low temperature here is 50 degrees, which is actually extremely well. If you look at our test group here of all these high performance coolers, you can see that the H5 Ultimate is number two on this list, which is really, really great. So this wraps it up for our video on the CryoRig H5 Ultimate. Now, if you have any questions, whether it's installation or performance or anything like that, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. Till next time, catch you guys later. Thank you.